From the early days of our forebears etching bison hunts onto cave walls, to the neatly packaged steaks in our supermarkets, hunting has shadowed the human story every step of the way. However, in our era of climate-controlled supermarkets, drone-delivered meals, and plant-based cuisine, hunting has shifted from a vital survival skill to a controversial issue. And yet, despite the blood and the controversy, hunting still plays an essential role in wildlife management and conservation. Setting our sights on the United States, we find a creature that's at the center of a heated debate. The white-tailed deer. These graceful animals have become so numerous that they're now considered pests. According to the National Deer Association, the population of these creatures swelled from half a million in the early 20th century to an estimated 30 million today. Yes, you heard it right, from 500,000 to 30 million. Due to this exponential growth, they've morphed from symbol of wilderness into an ecological disturbance. Overpopulation leads to overgrazing, sparking a cascade of environmental repercussions, including loss of habitat for other wildlife and a decline in plant diversity. And if the ecological impact isn't enough to stir worry, perhaps the 1.5 million deer vehicle collisions each year might change your mind. The US Department of Transportation reports over $1 billion in vehicle damage and around 200 human fatalities. That's not just a staggering insurance claim, but a genuine threat to human life. Now, some might argue that we should let nature take its course, that predators will control the population. However, the reality is that many predators such as wolves and mountain lions have seen their own populations curtailed due to human activity. In such scenarios, hunting can help to fulfill the ecological role of these predators, managing the deer population. The National Deer Association suggests that hunters harvest approximately 6 million white-tailed deer per year, helping to keep the population in check, preventing ecological chaos and making our highways a little safer. Swapping our lens to the African savanna, we find perhaps a more surprising example, the African elephant. Now, before you cancel me for suggesting we hunt elephants, do give me a chance to explain myself. In specific areas like South Africa's Kruger National Park, conservation efforts have led to a booming elephant population. Whilst that may seem like good news, it also leads to unintended consequences. These gentle giants, in large numbers, can extensively damage vegetation, turning woodland into grassland and altering habitats for other species. In addition to their environmental impact, the International Union for Conservation of Nature IUCN, reports an uptick in human-elephant conflicts, with elephants damaging crops and, tragically, causing human fatalities. The reality of continuing to let this elephant population run rampant and unchecked is that they threaten the lives and livelihoods of communities on the boundaries of these parks. Responsible, regulated hunting of these elephants also provides communities with much-needed sustenance and monetary gain, with the meat feeding families and the hunting fees funneling into the local economy, further supporting conservation and community development. Yes, the thought of hunting these magnificent creatures is hard to stomach, but nevertheless, regulated hunting is a necessary evil. Now, with the African elephant out of the way, let's address the other elephant in the room. Poaching. To equate legal, ethical hunting with poaching would be an egregious error. Where hunting is often a regulated activity with strict rules designed to maintain population levels and protect specific species, poaching is illegal, indiscriminate, and motivated purely by profit rather than conservation. Poaching has pushed several species to the brink of extinction, its repercussions felt in ecosystems worldwide. In contrast, legal hunting generates funds that support conservation efforts and ensures that animal populations remain within sustainable levels. Unregulated and illegal hunting, or poaching, is a menace that threatens biodiversity across the globe. Yet to label all hunting as destructive is to paint this multifaceted issue with too broad a brush. Despite the perceived harm, the most significant threat to animal populations worldwide is not trophy hunting, but habitat loss. 
human activities have led to an unprecedented rate of habitat destruction. Deforestation, urbanization, climate change, and pollution are all chipping away at the places animals call home. Compared to these pressures, responsibly managed hunting is a drop in the ocean. Hunting, in some cases, can actually contribute to conserving habitats by providing the economic incentive to preserve these areas rather than convert them for other uses. A habitat loss-free world is an ideal we should strive for, but in our current reality, responsible hunting can be part of the solution rather than the problem. Effective wildlife management is a delicate dance, requiring rigorous study, continual monitoring and, when necessary, interventions like hunting to maintain ecosystem health. Make no mistake, hunting isn't the one-stop solution for all our wildlife conservation challenges, but it is a tool that can be used judiciously, where needed, to ensure biodiversity and ecological balance. So, in the grand ecological scheme of things, However distasteful it may seem to some, regulated hunting can play an integral role. It's a complex issue that requires us to look beyond initial reactions and delve into the wider, nuanced picture. The goal here isn't to promote hunting for its own sake, but to highlight its potential role in conservation when carried out responsibly and sustainably. As we grapple with global environmental challenges, being able to make these types of difficult decisions may just end up being our saving grace.